Hey, what's going on everybody? Josh Cathcart back here at Hardball Academy with Hitting Done Right. For this next instructional video, we are gonna talk about posture, okay? Posture is one of the major keys to back path, okay? The ability to set proper posture, the ability to maintain proper posture through our swing, which will give us direction, okay? Allow us to square more balls up, gives us time and room for adjustability. So the first thing is, what is posture, okay? Posture is the spine angle that we set when our front foot hits the ground, okay? So if the pitcher is out this way, I get into my load and stride, this angle right here with my spine, that is where my posture is. Now, everybody's posture may be a little bit different, okay? You may have some guys that are more straight up, okay? But you're not gonna see landing straight up and down. You're always gonna have some form of kind of chest over the knees. Some people may think about taking your chest down to home plate, okay? We also don't wanna to get too much hinge and go here, because now the swing, I'd have to come out of it to get through the swing, okay? The change in posture mid-swing is going to change your back path, and that's what we don't want. We wanna create consistent back path that we can trust going to help us know what pitches to swing at, which in turn helps us set our approach, okay? Some of the major flaws that we're going to see with young players is instability and weakness in the core. So getting into proper posture becomes very difficult. They come and they just want to land straight up and down. From right here, if I was going to swing, everything would be flat across and my swing would kind of be down for anything you know, that's below mid, midway, okay? Right below my chest, all right? With posture, now as I get to turn, I can get that barrel and get behind the ball and work right in here. If I get into posture and I go to stand up, I start cutting down and across it. If I come in and I start diving in, I'm gonna lose that barrel down, okay? So again, the ability to set and hold posture through the swing as we get into our turn move for direction, okay? It's a major, major issue. Check it out on film, okay? The easiest way to look at it is either from the back like this or if you have a front view from the pitcher, making sure that that posture is there and that that line, again, stays as I get through my swing, okay? I don't want to come in here and stand up out of that, all right? So with that being said, I've got a couple drills to help players work on their posture, major, major swing component. All right, let's go ahead and get to it. All right, y'all, for this first one, this is very, very simple. This is just called get behind it, okay? I'm gonna show y'all from this angle so y'all can see the barrel getting behind the baseball. But again, understand that the whole focus here is to maintain this posture as I get through my turn and start to deliver the barrel. If I were to have a change in that posture, the back path is going to change. All right, so the way this is set up, I've got a little bit lower tee that is on the back corner, and then I have my target tee, which is on the front edge of home plate. All right, I'm gonna set my front foot, even with that front tee. I like to have these a little bit lower in the zone, okay? This is just that mid-thigh. I don't wanna get it up when we're dealing with posture too much because I do wanna feel that kind of down and through move um, and not really flat shoulders. So get into launch. I want to get the barrel behind the ball at this tee. That would be the back of the zone here and then all the way through. Okay. If I were to come in and then I start to change my posture and come up, it's going to be like I'm cutting kind of down and across this ball here. If I were to come in here and I'd start to back out of posture, I start to get kind of this uppercut. And coming up and through, I may lift the ball, I may just clip the top and hit a little weak rollover, okay? So get behind it. Set the posture, get into that turn. That backside's gonna work down, and then behind the ball here, and be able to maintain that posture all the way through. right there. If they start to move, they're really going to feel that back path change. 
Okay, you can go ahead and hit that ball if you want, but I like this really isolated focus on keeping that chest in place as we're turning and getting into contact. So, simple one, get behind it. All right, for drill number two, okay? This is just kind of a fence drill variation. All right, you've probably seen this one um, out in the hitting world now online. I really, really like it for kids that have a problem falling back away from the plate or back toward the catcher, okay? Now I've got this ball a little more elevated, okay? It's up near hip level. And what I wanna do is I wanna get close here and I wanna try to take my chest just kinda over my toes, right? And then my head is gonna be just barely pressing against this. I don't wanna get rocking into it, but barely pressing and then it's just gonna be through. Keeping the head there, turn, and working through. The reason I don't put this lower is because I don't want kids to get into this scoop down this way. I like having that a little more elevated. Maintain posture here. Work that hand right under the chin, across the chest. Maintain posture and through, okay? If they start to move back away from this, you're gonna see that head come away from the net. They're really gonna feel it if they start working back toward the catcher because now they're gonna feel like they're really having to reach for that ball, okay? So just head there and through. So just an easy variation of the fence drill. Fence drill is where we would get close and actually take full swings. Just barely rest that head, hold that posture, work the hand right under the chin, across the chest, all right? So, really simple one to do, super effective. Drill number three for this video, okay? This is gonna be the old one that people, everybody has seen now. This is the PVC posture drill, all right? This is a staple drill for us here, warming up, getting our prep work done before we jump into our lessons, okay? Just the visuals that this can give players is really, really good, okay? If you've never seen me demonstrate this before, this is, about four and a half feet, okay? You can go anywhere four to five feet, PVC, quarter inch, all right? I'm gonna go across the chest, and then we wanna be holding with our elbows. We don't wanna get loose in here where the pole is gonna wobble all over the place. Go kind of right across the collarbones and chest. We're holding with those elbows, all right? If you want to, for the more advanced, you can go full load into launch, and when you do, you want this front end kind of pointed out here in front of home plate. We don't want to get pointed straight down at home plate, okay? Because that would be super turned down and over rotated, okay? So it's not down at the ball. It's just out in front of home plate, just like we would be in our regular launch position. From this point here, now I want to think hips first, maintain the posture. If I start to stand up, that's gonna flatten out and I'm gonna miss over the top and you can feel how now I would come around it. If I start coming here and I back up, now you can see how I really be coming up from underneath it. Just like in drill one, we wanna get kind of inside and behind the ball. Okay, so coming in, you wanna see that path behind it, right in here. Not coming up, not coming down across. But right in there, Right to contact, right to contact, and then we can hit off, keeping the head down and keeping that tilt. All right, being able to create that tilt from posture is key. Guys, if y'all haven't got the young players on this, and old players also, but especially the young ones, okay, this is really, really easy. Throw some wiffle balls on there, be able to keep that head still, and maintain posture. So. I hope these drills have helped. I hope the information helps. This is a big deal that I see a lot of problems with when guys send in their analysis online or players that come into a facility for training. Huge issue. You have to build the core. You have to have strong hips, glutes. You have to have a long lower back. So make sure that we're taking care of our bodies. But from a mechanical standpoint, the ability to set and maintain posture is crucial to having consistent back path, therefore more consistent hard contact. So as always, hope it helps. Like and subscribe to the channel. Y'all be good.